So the point that we uh, were trying to make here is that when you design an application or when you write a program to solve a problem, the algorithm that you choose for solving the problem is going to be the major factor that determines uh, the performance. So what are the factors that factors that determine program performance? Besides the algorithm, so the algorithms and let's say the data structures. The algorithms and the data structures, this is going to be the major factor. And we will, you know, we will show this in a minute. We will elaborate on this in a minute. But what are the other factors that determine the, the performance of a program? Time and Sorry? Time and space. What do you mean? Well, this is not a factor. Yeah, so these are the metrics that we measure. Hardware. hardware. Okay, the hardware, yes. This is the obvious one is the hardware. The speed of the processor. Yeah. <coughs> the third factor. Compiler. Okay, the compiler. Because the compiler applies optimizations. And the fourth factor is the programming language. So for the same programming language, the performance can differ from one compiler to another. You know, so the, the, you know, if you use uh, you know, GCC, you will get different performance than if you use, say, uh, Visual C++, Microsoft's Visual C++. So different compilers for the same language give different performance. And to some extent, the performance is dependent on the operating system because there are uh, you know, system calls and libraries and uh, operating system scheduling and all of that. But among these factors, the algorithms and the data structures is going to be the major factor. Why? So let's take a numerical example. So consider merge sort with running time What's the running time of merge sort? N hmm? N log n. OK, good. Compared to uh, insertion sort. With running time. of n squared. <coughs> so which one is faster? Merge sort. Now how much faster in terms of numbers? Significantly. Hmm? Significantly faster. Significantly. So can you quantify this? Uh, well, it depends on n, right? Mm -hmm. So how much faster is merge sort? So merge sort. is faster by n log n. Sorry, not n log n. It's the other way around. It's n squared. So the bigger divided by the smaller, n log n. So it's faster by n squared divided by n log n, which is n divided by log n. Now what's this? How much is this? How big is this? Well, let's take a, a big N for N equals a thousand for N equals a, so let's call this the uh, speed up. For N equals 1000, the speed up equals a thousand divided by log a thousand 
What's log a thousand? What's the base here, by the way? Two. Yeah, it's the ba base is two. Why? Because it's well, we will revisit the analysis of merge sort because it divides the array into two subarrays. So the base is going to be two. So log a thousand base two. What's that? Yeah, it's uh, it's approximately ten. So this is going to be a thousand divided or approximately a thousand divided by ten, which is a hundred. So for n equals for n equals a thousand, merge sort is faster than insertion sort by a hundred times. So when you look at all of these factors, none of these factors is going to give you a speed up by 100. So for the hardware, for example, if we are comparing processors that belong to the same group, for you, you know, I mean a laptop with a laptop, or a desktop with a desktop, or a server with a server, or a supercomputer with a supercomputer, two computers that belong to the same category, you know, not comparing a supercomputer with a smartphone, okay? But comparing a supercomputer with a supercomputer, it's going to be within the same order. Uh, so the hardware, so if you are running this on a desktop, say, and you, uh, you buy a faster desktop, the faster desktop is not going to be 100 times faster. Yeah, so it may be two times faster, three times faster, but it's not going to be 100 times faster. If you look at the compiler, compiler optimizations, how much speed up do compiler optimizations give you typically? So how many people have taken the compiler course? OK, so how much speed up? I don't remember. <laughs> it was like Does it give you 100x no, speed no, up? No. Well, the compiler speed up is going to be you know, somewhere in the range four to six times maybe so it's within the same order it's not going to give you a hundred times speed up programming language again you know if you program it in C or program it in Java it's not going to be a hundred times faster C is not going to be a hundred times faster than Java uh, the operating system again we can't expect a hundred times speed up uh, you know, by running on a different operating system. So all of these factors that determine program performance are secondary factors compared to the algorithm itself. So in fact, if we look at n equals a, a million, for n equals a million, so the speed up equals a million divided by log a million base 2 and this is approximately 10 power 6 divided by what's log a billion base 2 no this is 20 almost this is approximately 20 so this is going to be 50 uh, times 10 power 4 uh, sorry a hundred divided no so fi five yeah. times 10 power 4, 100 divided by 20 is 5, so it's 50,000. So even when you go to larger input size, the speed up is 50,000. So merge sort is 50,000 times faster than insertion sort for an array of size a million. This is definitely a speed up that none of these other factors can give you. All of these factors are going to give you a speed up within the same order, but they're not going to give you four orders of magnitude of speed up. So the point here is the major factor is the algorithm that you use because it's the approach that you are taking to the problem. If you are taking a, uh, an inefficient approach to the problem, None of these factors is, is going to help you. The hardware is not going to help you. The compiler, the programming language, the OS, none of these factors is going to give you any help. OK? Any questions?